Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Funtime Crafts 24-7. I have a little project share here for you. I ended up getting the new Sun and Fun kit, as well as the couple of new sentiments. Uh, funky, bold, everything. This one right here. And the Funky, bold anniversary. This happy anniversary die. And I wanted to give them a whirl. Primarily because the Sun and Fun kit had this really awesome new color from the Stands of Life. It's the peacock color. And it is gorgeous. It is a beautiful green, blue, aqua -y type of color. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the kit also had has this hibiscus stencil. And I wanted to try this. And it is fun. The patterning, patterning is awesome. The flowers are a terrific size. And I think it will actually be a, a go-to stencil. And so I gave those a whirl and created this card. This is an A2 size card, four and a quarter by five and a half. The card base is cut out of powdered sugar. I used some of the pattern paper that came in the Sun and Fun kit, which is the Pretty Peacock collection. I used this pattern there. That is four by five and a quarter. I cut out a white panel that is three and a half by four and three quarters, that one there. So I could stencil the new hib hibiscus stencil on the top of it with some luster polish in snow and ice. I just used my palette knife, took some out of the jar and troweled it over the top. And it added this really fun, subtle, shimmery interest to the background and uh, tied my other little hibiscus flowers in there. And so those hibiscus flowers actually came from the paper collection as well. There's a die cut page right there and I just popped this into my scanning cut and cut all those out I used uh, two of the dark ones and one light one and then the leaves came from the ephemera pack that came in the kit not the flowers there um the leaves were just part of the ephemera pieces that were in it and so I used all three of the leaves that were in there and uh popped those behind my little flowers there the Happy everything sentiment there. I ended up creating a watercolor, a watercolor washed background with the reinker. Um, this right here. Basically, what I did was I took some craft perfect watercolor cardstock. Um, I misted it light lightly with some water. I dripped the reinker onto the top of the piece of cardstock, and then I took my Spectrum Noir sparkle pen dripped some shimmer on the top of the re-inker drops and then I just did a wash. I just used a pen and washed it down to create that ombre effect. Left it dark at the top and then went down to a lighter color at the bottom and that's how I got all that fun shimmer on that sentiment there. And then I just took the the intricate portion of the sentiment and placed it on my uh washed background where I wanted to see it cut out at and uh, die cut that out and then I also die cut some foam that had double double sided adhesive on both sides and adhered the two together and then popped that on top of the card there. I adorned the hibiscus flowers with some gems I had in my stash. You, they're clear and you can get these anywhere. You can get them at the dollar store, Joann's, Michael's uh, and they're they're pretty inexpensive. At the dollar store, they're only a dollar. <laughs> and uh, so then I also took some of the seam binding that came in the kit, tied a little bow, adhered it with some adhesive dots under the sentiment there. And I think that just came out so fun. I really love how the card came out, uh, especially with the um, ombre sentiment and then the um, luster polished hibiscus dental background. I think it just came out nice. Let me know what you guys think of the card in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of the color too. And um, if you guys got it, if you like it, I think it's gorgeous. It's so pretty. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a fantastic day. Until next time, happy crafting.